When Cameron was in Egypt's land Let my Cameron go Hello pipe smokers, it's Nathan coming to you again with another video and I am doing another Tobacco Royale um, so my previous ones oh, I've only done two what second breakfast versus autumn evening and then a comparison of my Agmar loose leaf versus puck and so now I'm going to battle off with Orlet Golden Slice and Capstan Flake so both are mainly Virginia's although there is admittedly some Parik in there with the Orlick. But it's so primarily Virginia, it's debated, or it was hotly debated at one point whether or not there was Perique and Orlick. And then finally the people that produced Orlick finally admitted that they did, so that ended the debate. So, let's go ahead and get to it. Um, I'm enjoying these as usual in my Royales with a little taster corn cob. I can't remember what Missouri Mearsham calls these little ones. Um, but they work really well. And uh, my palate cleanser water. I have that on hand. So here we got Orlick. Both of these blends uh, are extremely good. I am becoming more and more a, uh, a fan of Virginia's as they are training me how to properly smoke a pipe. So Orlick is pretty clean. It's um, it has just a really nice light flavor. Uh, it burns consistently. And appropriately having a corn cob it does kind of give you a, a reminiscing sort of feel of a, like a hay field as you're uh, smoking it it is light um, and does give you well it's just an appropriate blend for your uh, late spring to early fall months and it just doesn't sit heavy uh, it's not going to sit there and weigh on your tongue it's just going to have a nice light flavor to carry you through the smoke and that's what I think what 
both of these blends will have in terms of a similarity. And I know Orlick has a huge, huge following. A lot of people love, love, love Orlick Golden Slice. And it is super easy to see why. It just is a good, reliable, solid blend. So yeah, really tasty. Oh, I'm gonna switch over here real quick. So, Capstan. Uh, Capstan is a favorite, or was a favorite, of J.R. Tolkien, which intrigued me to the blend immediately, because I'm a nerd. You got that 16th day? Um, and this one's just a... Uh, straight Virginia as far as I know the flakes are slightly thicker um, so it burns a little bit slower than Orlick does And the big difference here, I think, comes with there's less of that hayfield type of feeling that you get with Orlick. And Capstan, at least to me, comes across a little brighter. There's a kind of a, a back end kind of citrus uh, leaning towards the uh, lemony side of things that pulls it away from the, the hayfield so to speak and just really uh, puts it a little bit more in just the plain sun um, you know don't want to go tropical because it's nowhere near that um, but it just, instead of a hay field, maybe more of just like a springtime field that's that gives, has a nice breeze going through it, and you just have the moment to sit there and take it in. And I wouldn't say a, a spring field that has a lot of flowers in it. It's not, there isn't a huge amount of, like taste that would kind of give it that sense but it does have just that nice grassy tone to it it would be better if I could keep it lit So yeah, I think that's where the difference is. 
where one you think more hay wheat field type of thing the other one's more grassy um, just both are just fantastic blends and I see where people would say that uh, would prefer Orlick um, there's an element of it that it has a little bit more depth of flavor I think with the Orlick than the Capstan but you just can't go wrong they're just both really solid blends and it's worth keeping both on hand if you want that variety to hit specific moods and there are times where yes Yes, I do. <laughs> so, so yeah. So in any case, um, in terms of the battle, boy, it, it's it's tight because they both they both hit that that real fine uh, niche for me, and both at any given time will just hit that Virginia button perfectly um, you know my nostalgia comes into play with the cap stand just because I enjoy thinking about Tolkien and reading some of his stuff while smoking it um, and so my nod tends to go with cap stand more often than it does with Orlick uh, but it's really close they're both great blends. I know there are plenty of Orlick uh, reviews out there to take a look at and probably give you a better description than I did. Um, but, boy, they're both just really good. Uh, they're both flakes, so it automatically takes it to that higher level for me. Um, I am admittedly a flake tobacco guy you know, that's where I want it to be uh, you know so yeah pick up a tin of both do your own battle royale um, you know they were just both really good good tobaccos and I think you'll really enjoy both of them so um, yeah capstan slight edge but it's good stuff so anyway thanks for watching I uh, appreciate you uh, stopping by and getting to take a look at my sveltness and uh, you know, I look forward to uh, seeing all your comments on, on this and what, what you think so um, have a great day count your blessings be thankful for them and with all that said and done Grace and peace to you.